There we are again, the iconic tree at Neil's Gap and Mountain Crossings. I am fortunate not to be one of the acclaimed one quarter that quit their hike at this point or hang their shoes in the tree. As we move forward, we move through the only covered point on the Appalachian Trail here at Mountain Crossings at uh, Neil's Gap. I hope all you wonderful wanderlusters are having a fantastic day. It's Thursday morning, it's cool, but it looks like it's going to be a beautiful one. Welcome to my hikeification. So we started off today at Neil's Gap at mile 31.1 after the stay at the Blood Mountain Cabins the previous night. It looks like there should be a good climb coming straight out of Neil's Gap, uh, at least for the first few miles. The next big high point is really Cow Rock Mountain. Those are the primary best views I think we're going to get today by the looks of things. Um, and that's around mile 36.1, so probably about three hour, two or three hours into the day. Looking to end the day at Low Gap Shelter at mile 42.6, which will give us about 12 to 13 miles for the day. Uh, should be a good day of hiking, no, nothing too extreme. The reason we aren't going to White Whiteley Gap Shelter is that it's actually located 1.2 miles off the trail so it's a bit of a hike just to get to it when you might as well just push forward to the next shelter so it's a bit of a sensible decision i think and that's the plan for today just coming off the first climb out of neil's gap that first mile or two is a little bit rough but uh, nothing too bad I think it's supposed to be smooth sailing from here on out for the day. Kind of neat walking along the ridge though, seeing uh, drop offs on both sides. More to come. So many days is yet to come. Many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand So I'm on the trail. I've seen this in a few videos. First views of the day, we're at Greencliff Top, mile 35.9. We're about just under five miles into the day. Lost to ocean's gentle hand. Through the sunrise I will thrive. Getting out alive. Getting out alive. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever tire of stopping and seeing these vistas. This is a great chance to grab a quick bar, a little bit of water, and get ready for the next climb. Just hang up a second view of the day as we climb Cow Rock Mountain.
Sorry for the really bad audio here. I, I've muted it just because there was too much wind and something was a little bit off. But anyway, this is King Tut, and he's been out for 14 years delivering trail magic every Tuesday and Thursday. Rain, shine, snow, etc. Um, and he always comes to Tennessee Gap, or what he calls Tenasty Gap, given the weather. Uh, he had almost every type of sugary snack, Coke, Pepsi, drinks, coffee, uh, there was even some uh, knitted hats that hikers could take on to hand warmers. Really a full setup. Um, fully appreciative of, of uh, all the all his supplies and all his efforts to support the hiking community. So many days is yet to come Many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand Lost to oceans gentle walking out is fine. Okay, maybe that's a steep ridge, but get views on both sides. So I figured we'd do the wrap up from somewhere other than my hammock or a bed. It's about Five o'clock here. Uh, I'm at Low Gap Shelter. Did about 11, 11, 12 miles out of Neil's Gap. Great sunny day. A uh, little bit of a blustery wind. The walk was, was nice. A few, few ups. A um, couple, couple good views. And I think as I indicated earlier, I didn't film it as much, but uh, I really just wanted to hike, and uh, I think I accomplished that today. All told, I'm feeling pretty good. A few minor aches and pains. I think I need to be careful on the, the knee. There was a few downhills where I started to feel some tinges, so I'm going to move my, my knee brace over to the other knee, um, the one that's kind of just giving a little bit of a, a tinge. Outside of that, I, I think I'm, I'm where I want to be. Big decision tomorrow is whether I do 8 miles uh, to the next shelter or whether we do about 16 to Trey Mountain Shelter. The eight are feeling a little bit short. Sixteen's a little bit long. Uh, we'll see what time we get up and uh, kind of just take it slow and steady and see where we land. But I'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. So hope you all are doing very well. And I apologize these videos are a little delayed getting up, but uh, internet is not uh, what it should be. Uh, cell signal suck. I actually stopped today to. I had three bars on the phone to try and upload a video and spent 45 minutes doing it and it was at 90% and then it crashed. Uh, so I lost the 45 minutes and I uh, didn't get the video uploaded. So a couple days, two or three days, I should be at Hiawassee. We'll search out some Wi-Fi or at least a better cell signal and we'll start, uh, start getting these videos up a little bit more regularly. Anyway, again, hope you're all doing well. Till next time, hike on. On a bad day.